Welcome back to Pearl Never Counts Lips here. This is CLE Language Arts 600, Book 2. It's raw footage right from the classroom. Hope you enjoy. Direct objects. What ends a prepositional phrase? The object of the preposition. What in this first sentence is the noun of direct address? Danny. Danny. And remember that is an independent element. It gets diagrammed separately from the rest of the diagram or a little line by itself. Today's lesson is about direct objects. Our language is interesting because of action verbs. You know, action verbs. The boy ate, the boy sang, the boy jumped. It, it gives us action, it makes our language lively. But then, with those action verbs, many times we need something to receive the action. The boy sang what? He sang the song. He ate what? He ate the apple. John kicked the ball. And the ball is that thing that receives the action. In the predicate, it's coming after an action verb, and it doesn't modify the verb, it just receives the action. So we call it a direct object. It's the object that directly receives the action. John kicked the ball. His foot hit the ball directly, the ball moved, directly received the action. John kicked the ball. A very nice sentence that I like to use many times is, Mom baked a pie. What's the direct object? Pie. Pie. Now look at this. Mom baked me a pie. What's the direct object? Me. Mom baked me? Pie. 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 So this is very important. The direct object is what directly receives the action. Because later we're going to talk about indirect objects like me, but what directly receives the action? The pie. Yeah, I kind of benefited. But mom baked the pie. That's what she grabbed in her hands and put it in the oven and turned the heat up on. Um, so what, re what receives the action here? Tyler wrote a long essay about millipedes. Direct object? Yeah. Essay. Essay, perfect. And I want to talk about some very simple steps of always, always being able to find the direct object. This is what you do. Find the verb. What's the verb in the sentence? Wrote. Wrote. Ask who or what wrote. Who or what about the verb? Who or what wrote? Tyler. Tyler as the subject. Tyler wrote. Now we say the subject and the verb together. Tyler wrote who or what? Essay. Essay. Every single time that will find you the direct object. Find the verb, find the subject, put the subject and verb together and ask who or what. Tyler wrote who or what? Essay. John kicked who or what? Ball. Mom baked who or what? Pie. Every time it will work. So memorize that. Put it in your head real deep. So that every time you find subject, verb, ask who or what, that will keep you from finding all kinds of other weird stuff. A few other things to point out. That is that this is an action verb. We must have action verbs for direct objects. If we have subject linking verb, what do we have? Predicate nominative. Predicate nominative or predicate adjective. But if we have a subject, action verb, we will always have, so not nothing. Sometimes he sang quietly. That's just an adverb. No complement. But if we do have a complement, it will be a direct object. And sometimes we'll have an indirect object in between there. But we didn't learn about that yet. You will soon. Um, these are complements. Predicate nominatives and predicate adjectives are complements of linking verbs. Direct objects are complements of action verbs. That thing that comes in the predicate and kind of finishes it out. All right, to carry on with your lesson.